Hello everyone, today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, first of all, hopefully you can hear and see me. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at some new expansions that I found for uh, Four Against Darkness, Alone Against Fear, which is very, very cool, which is basically part of the Four Against Darkness family. So we're going to we're going to take a look at these, and I'm going to explain how to play this game in case you're new here and you've never seen this game. We're going I'll go over. We'll we'll write everything out so you understand it, um, how attacking and how everything moves, and we'll also take a look at these new expansions and see what they bring to what is already some phenomenal, phenomenal games. I mean, unbelievably great games. So if, if you're somebody that likes to play solo, well, guess what? This is the time, this is the channel for you. I'm telling you because, boy, I got nobody. Uh, I spent um, most of the afternoon, uh, uh, for those of you that are Subutio fans, Subutio fans, or Rumble Slam fans, uh, I glued and painted, um, especially with the bad arm, I was try trying to do some of the fans, and I added in... Uh, about 400 fans into our, our thing so I'm looking at it right now and it looks really really cool actually I uh, was playing four against darkness yesterday very cool DRC but we're going to take a look at some some new stuff and hopefully it's something that you know maybe you don't know about and we'll discover it a little bit so we're going to talk a little bit about the games themselves as well as um, all the new stuff so Without further ado, instead of me rambling, 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 like a fool. And uh, why don't I get the microphone over here so people can hear me at least. I'll tell you, the most un unprofessional cha uh, channel known to man. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, I don't think I need this. Unless we get some of our, our soccer fans in here. Uh, or football fans, as we, we call it. All right, so what did I want to do? Oh. I wanted to get my mouse pad. I wanted to get my mouse pad. Okay, there we go. Now we can move around a little bit. Alrighty. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, first of all, we have Alone Against Fear, which is a uh, just just a, a, a great horror survival game um, where you have this, which is four against darkness. And what this does is you're going to make a party and you are going to take them uh, matter of fact I have an already made party I believe uh, let's just go through here see what I have if I if I kept it all together which I of course I don't because that's the way I, I roll all right hold on here so we're, we're, we'll write everything down but we'll go through this a little bit before we introduce uh, some of the new stuff just so you can see everything I'm gonna put this off to the side Four Against Darkness is is a f just a, a great experience. It has a ton of expansions that are just really fantastic. Okay, it'll play out to different levels and things like that. You know, depending on what you need. Uh, we're gonna very quickly just go through here, and just for people that just don't know anything about this, this is just kind of a nice little refresher. To kind of give you an idea of what's going on we're going to just take one warrior you you would make a party of four get it four against darkness okay so uh real easy everybody starts at level one um your life okay so you're going to start with a life trait okay and that's going to be six plus your level okay for the warrior Okay, first level, so now he has seven life. Okay, we'll just call warrior up here. All right, and then, oh, let me turn my hat backwards, because that, that always screws everything up. Then you would, you would ha add other guys, and they would do different certain things, like life plus level. So every time you go up a level, you're going to go up a life, okay? So this... Is very important now for let me put my glasses on just so we explain everything uh, correctly um, some of the things you're gonna have armor you're gonna have certain weapons and they're gonna give you pluses okay so your level 
like for instance our warrior here okay uh, when he fights the warrior always adds his level to his attack roll so if he's a level one okay plus okay say he has a certain sword that's going to give him a plus one which is a blunt so we'll put that for weapon all right um, and we are fighting a bunch of well let's let's just keep it nice and simple so everybody can understand here uh, let me just go to the table here vermin you always want to fight vermin oh you know what why am I doing this I have everything here jeez jeez uh, epic rewards and there's a lot a lot of just great thing okay so vermin table okay so say for instance we have d uh, three d6 rats okay and that's gonna be number one you're gonna roll on a vermin table depending on what room you go into so for instance we're of course and we get the rats so then we would roll three d6 rats okay that's a little overkill right uh, yeah so we're gonna have exactly 13 rats so there's 13 rats they're all level one 13 level one rats all right now let's give our our warrior a little bit juice against 13 uh, rats we're going to give him uh, we're going to give him level 3 okay so the way this is going to work is very simple our level 3 warrior okay with a plus 1 sword okay gives you a 4 now the rats are level 1 all you have to do now if these were level two rats okay you would have to score at least a two to kill a rat okay but what you're going to do is you're going to roll a d6 okay it's always a d6 all right and we're going to roll and while wow, once you figure we roll the six so six plus four is ten these level rats this these level one rats are guess what they die each hit kills a rat because they're only level one so we would kill 10 rats but here's the thing here okay we roll the six and the six explodes okay six always explodes one is always a failure so if we were rolling even though we would roll a one and three plus one is four plus one is five would kill five rats a one is always a, fa a failure and considered a mess so what we would do here in this particular uh, situation is we would roll again and we roll two so it would be level three okay plus one is four plus six plus two because the exploding die okay is eight so we would have killed 12 rats which would have left one rat which we were kind of hoping for now the rat would be able to attack back okay but he doesn't roll any dice dice what the warrior rolls is a die okay and all he has to do is beat the level that is considered a defense roll so he would roll three three beats one guess what he's safe the rat misses then he would go obviously he would hit him with a four but if he rolled a one, no matter what, he would have missed. So he hits this rat and he turns him into soup. That is how simple combat is. Now it gets a little complicated with bosses and things like that. Yeah, 12 rats with one shot is not bad. And, 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 and I made it up. And Andrea, who actually designed this tremendous, tremendous game, uh, actually stuck his head in, which is very nice to have him. Uh, because we're going to be talking about some of the new stuff 
that I found on drive through RPG. So now that you have a basic idea of what's going on, I want to show you, okay, some of the things that they have going on. And this is really, really pretty fantastic. And I was able to get this, and of course, you know, I buy into everything. You can get this at RPG, uh, uh, drive through RPG. You uh, pay the cost, download it, print it out, and you're off and running. Now, this adds a variant to four against darkness as you're going through you're going to be able to to do a couple things and i'm going to show you another uh, neat little thing i found as well uh you forgot morale roll for, uh, i was just explaining uh, uh combat um but i was just yeah exactly i was just teaching the combat system to show them how easy it is go pick up this game go pick up this game and go on an adventure there are so many other little things in here that go on such as you could just buy this you don't have to there's a million supplements out of here uh, out, out there but i really suggest that you just get this book to start with and you're going to find out how much you love this game okay because of all the things that it does okay and i just want to come through here uh, show you that you can you, you, you go into random rooms you can create you know you're gonna roll as you can see uh, bu, 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 bu. okay these are gonna be your entrance entrances but from there you just all you're gonna do is roll 2d6 okay and I'll show you how this works you're gonna take your party you'll roll 2d6 okay uh, that's a 45 Oh, sure enough, it's right there. So if you got some graph paper or stuff like that, like I do right here, okay, and well, I got the big squares. So we would you just draw this out. You draw this out and you connect it to your starting room. So for instance, I'll just call, uh, we'll just call this a starting room for now, okay? And what you would do is connect 45 and there's a door here there's a door here there's a door here just to say and then you would start up here so we come up here stop there and then we would go over three squares one two three and then one two and then you know you're drawing your own dungeon which is just tremendous because it adds this mystery and this just unbelievable experience there'd be a door here and you could just do this with with, with a simple marker like i'm doing uh, and i'm doing this on a little whiteboard here so I'll put a little thing and then you would roll to check to see what happens inside this 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 room okay um and there's all kinds of tables that that you roll on and see what's in there there's traps there's all this and, and it's all that you control everything. You become the adventurer. You become the god. You, not only are you taking your party, but you're telling the story as well. Well, what this, this, this really phenomenal new, new book does, and I'm going to go over this for a minute. Okay. What this does is adds a little more flavor to it. Now, there's also a book out there that I did not download yet, but I will, and it's called Twisted Minions. And when I do, when I get that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some characters out on an adventure, and it's really going to be exciting. Now, I don't want to spoil everything in here, but as written by the great creator, of course, that's in here. Uh, this book it has a list of random variables that alter standard. Dungeons Adventures. So if you get this and this main book, you're going to be able to just do all these little things. It's going to help you get more XP. It's going to help you um, get more treasure and build up your character so you can kind of go and and maybe take on some other things which are really phenomenal. Okay. Um, let's just go over it uh, real quick. You don't want to read anything in here in advance. So I'm going to roll one thing, okay? And the way this is done is with two D8s. And we'll explain that a little bit, in a little bit. But you're going to want to go through, and as you're going through with your characters, you can add a variable by rolling two D8. 
and that's going to give you a bunch of different things. So for instance, I'm only going to show you one. And there's some unique, uh, oh, 77. How about that? Okay. Talk about making it easy. So you're going to go in this book. All right. And as you can see, I don't want to ruin anything. And you're going to run into some great things. So this is a unique, of course, I roll a unique. Okay. Um, you don't want to do these twice, so you're going to want to keep a little thing. But what would happen is it's called the bell. So in that room that we rolled, we can, we can instead of rolling on, on the random event table, we can actually use this phenomenal, beautiful book that's going to enhance our story. Okay, so here, um, I don't want to ruin it. Ah, I, you know, it's only one. Raiders have stolen a bronze bell that was supposed to be delivered to the local church. The party begins to explore the creature's hideout to receive the bell. The local authorities have promised to pay a hundred gold if the bell is delivered and given, and have given the party a cart to carry the bell to town. Determine randomly the type of creatures that have stolen the bell so you would roll and and, and and like I said you have all these wonderful charts I really suggest laminate them I'm writing a new book in the twisted series called twisted fate where it introduces a d100 unique events you can use these books moderately or you can use them only the minions or all of them together whoa see you got to let me know this stuff bro because I'll sit here and promote this all day long. So again, you're going to run, you know, you're going to decide, okay, well, what do I want to be in here? So you would roll on the minions ta uh, table. Okay. Now, like I said, there's a twisted minion book. You would want to roll on that and, and just really build this beautiful story that you can create. I mean, really fantastic. I mean, really just great. Uh, um, like I said, this is unique. Up at, up top here, well, like I said, if we wanted to go in that room and we rolled 76 instead, the dungeon is carved out of ice. It's slippery, it's, its floors are slippery. Characters rolling a one on defense will fall and must use their next action to stand up. So that causes, remember when we were talking about defense? Now, if we rolled a one against that rat, we would have slept and we wouldn't have been able to attack. So we would have to roll defense twice. Oh, in addition, fire-based attacks and spells will hit on at minus one during this adventure. So this sets up the premise of your whole adventure and, and it changes how your dungeons are and everything like that. It's really, really just absolutely glorious. This adds a lot, like I said, to what is already, oh, and this goes over here, to, to just, a, you know, the, the imagination and the adventures that you go on is, is just absolutely glorious. Now, that's this, and you can get this uh, at Drive Through RPG. It's $3.99, I think. I think it's 3 bucks and 99 cents. I paid it without even thinking, okay? I paid it without even thinking. I had to have this because this combined with this tells a beautiful tale. All right, so I want to move this over there because I want to show you what else uh, just recently came. All right, and that's this. Now, as your 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 characters go up in levels, there's more adventures. There's tons and tons of adventures, and I have tons of these adventures. Okay, and and they're worth getting. And I always make sure that I have a bunch from one to four. I get a bunch that are three to four, a four to eight, and, and then higher, you know. So I'm always telling a tale with the characters I, I build. One of the beautiful things that Four Against Darkness does, okay, and, and that's for those of you that don't have never played it, what Four Against Darkness does is make you feel impassioned the same way you would in, in Dungeons and Dragons about your characters because your characters, each one of them, become special to you and they mean something to you. Okay? So as you're going through, you're telling this beautiful tale along the way of, 
of your adventurers and all the things that they go into and these these expansions that you get are absolutely glorious maybe you want to start over and, and, and because there are so many different three to four level um, books or uh, you know one to two books okay you know maybe you want to take your guys on on, on an adventure one way and through certain adventures and maybe not do this adventure but do another three or four adventures i could pull out other adventures and and go all day but i, I just want to show you the new stuff and what this does the first of all this is beautifully 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 i'm going to give you i'm going to give you a heads up though this does contain a little bit adult humor okay uh, so just a little so if you decide to play with, with your children's go through it and see if it's for you or not and and you'll be fine or just play it alone um you're going to be moving on this on, on a map i believe it this go, yeah okay moving on the map the adventures uh i want to make sure i get this one right because i, I just download all this stuff but again this is going to be telling it's going to add some new rules and each one kind of each one of these expansions does different things okay some of them will bend the rules that from the from the book a bit so make sure that you read through it a little bit each one of them does everything a little bit differently okay and uh this is just another this is 66 um pages of just gloriness glory of just glory and I, i'm telling you right now um the whole fungi thing is just a lot of fun so you're going to be moving through this map here then that's what i wanted to do uh, get you through you want to get through this and 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 this is how you're going to be moving basically oh i didn't even see this see i'm gonna to have to print these these oh i, I did print this out in color uh, you can use these Mothmen for paper miniatures to play on, on big printed dungeon maps and use them as foes for Andre's printable dungeoneer, which I'm going to have to get my hands on. See, I didn't even know that. Well, there you go. All right, another glorious, glorious thing. So just to let you know, there's another uh, 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 new uh, level three to four a labyrinth of the lurking i'm not even going to try to say the word because i'll butcher it with, with 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 some of the issues now the other thing i wanted to show you and and believe me you're going to love four against darkness it's one of the greatest games that i've ever played and i play it often uh, you can find about 25 videos of me doing it and we'll do more live videos because that's what we do here another game that is really unique here uh, is a love against fear okay now this 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 is a horror a survival horror game okay and it's really really amazing because the things that you're going to uh, let's see if I, I've already got my character okay here we go I got one character. I've always I always print out a million different things. Okay, and the great thing about it is you are going to have certain types of skills. Okay, you got to be careful. You got to protect your your sanity, your life. Okay, and you're going to be getting XP. You're also going to be getting clues because in the main book, as you're going through, okay, you're going to be rolling randomly on this town exploration now combat is the same as um four against darkness but the neat thing about this is you may be trying to get to a certain place and you're going to be rolling 2d6 to randomly go someplace so oh how about we roll another six this okay so that's 11 roll on the school table so you're going to go into the book and you're going to roll on the school table and that's going to that's going to kind of point you in a, 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 a few directions okay so what you're going to be doing is going through the, you start building this town as you keep going through different areas there's going to be safe houses there's going to be streets that you're going to be going on and as you're going through these areas you're going to be rolling on charts uh, for instance on page 44 
Right, they make everything town exploration table. That's the one that we would just call. So for instance, uh, let's just say that we're going on the streets. We're going to roll a D6 and we roll a one. Well, guess what? You spot a nice place to hide. You may create a safe house. So this is just one of the things that can happen, but you can end up rolling like a five or a six, let's say a five, and you're going to have a random encounter. You're going to roll on the slasher table, which is on page 65. Everything just spelled out for you. Now, these guys are not easy. Okay, three. Okay, the butcher has a life three. Remember what I told you. But one thing I didn't tell you about is bosses. Okay, they have a life eight. So, f for instance, here, um, let's go to our guy, and, and we're just gonna we're gonna go through this a little bit. All right. So the butcher has. And he ain't going nowhere. He's fighting. He's a level three. He level three, okay. And he has eight life, okay. All right, got it. Okay, great. Um, what's going to happen is our guy here has a life of eleven. All right. Oops. Yeah. Life of eleven. He's ex. He's level. Hold on. Let me just make sure I got this right here. Of course, I'm gonna choke on this a little bit. Your character. As four XP, I would believe that he has. Okay, life. Okay, for example, you could have life eight level set. Yeah, you would break up. What you're going to do is you're going to break up. You're going to have a certain amount of points, and you're going to break them up a certain way. Forgive me, I forgot a few things there. All right, let's see here. Uh, you're going to have different things that you're going to want to add to your character. Um, to build him and you can spend certain XP points to do certain things you can have uh, random weapons which is always awesome uh, let me just go through some of these tables here very quickly I want to make sure I tell you this right but it kind of runs into the same thing that 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 you're going to be rolling combat here we go uh, when encountering a monster note uh, note down their number and level okay monsters level okay so um, you and the monster will take turns attacking each other you go first unless the monster surprises you all right that's a whole different thing to attack you're gonna roll a d6 adding any modifiers that apply to for skills or for weapons now over here we have like a chainsaw we could use that's gonna add one to uh, our attack so a two-hand chainsaw plus one to attack and it does two damage every time it hits okay to attack roll a d6 adding any modifiers that apply for skills and weapons and divide that total to the monsters level rounding down always rounding down the result is the number for example you attack level three okay uh, you attack a level three monster you die rolls four you add plus two due to your weapon, so that's going to give you six. Your total damage is six, so you're going to inflict two damage upon that creature. Okay? So, for instance, here, um, we are going to add, uh, we're going to use our chainsaw, okay? And we're going to roll, it's a five plus two, right? Okay? Um, plus two for our chainsaw is seven. So, three goes into seven twice so he'll come down to eight life okay that's the good news okay I mean he's gonna come down to six life the bad news in this is guess what he gets a shot at you when it's the monsters turn to attack only the monsters that survive your attack have a chance to hurt you um, well this is a little different because we have uh, different type of monster here uh, okay here we go if a monster has more than one life point each damage point will deplete one of its life 
A monster dies if it is reduced to zero or fewer life points. Okay, so when attacking, okay, if you face six zombies, okay, some things. So when he attacks you, you're going to roll, I believe, you face six zombies and kill two. You have to defend against four. The two zombies you kill do not get a chance to strike. Some weapons. Okay, let's go to page 31. Ah, okay, here we go. Um, so you shoot a group of zombies. Da, 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 to keep in track of your ammo. Rolling ones are always a fail. Okay. Surprises, charisma roll. And of course, monster description. He gets attacked back, how the game works, movement, visiting. Boy, I'm flubbing this. I believe that, that he rolls, and if he rolls above his level, if I'm not con correct, not over level, not over the level like in 4 eight, uh, oh, it's on, okay. The only main difference in uh, AAF is that for a defense roll, to be okay, you must roll its level or better. That's what it is. Okay. Sorry. So now he's attacking you. You've got to roll better. Ugh. So I rolled his level, so I'm okay. But say I rolled a two here. Okay. Well, uh, one of the things that he said is he would do two damage. So you're going to take two damage. Okay. Just this level, not above. Okay. Okay, cool. Got it. Sorry. Uh, has been a little while since I played that. So that's the way this plays out. You're going to have food, candles. You're going to carry certain things. You're going to be plus one. You're going to have chainsaws. Um, you're going to want clues because what you're trying to do is sometimes you're trying to, find, to, to kill a slasher. Okay. Rob, keep up the great... I have to go walk the dogs before it gets dark. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Because this game uses only a D6, there are no um, there are no levels, only levels in skill. This is another great game, but I want to show you what has come out for this. Okay, now you can play in, in this. You can close gates, all right, and you can go through towns and close gates. You can close. You know what I was getting mixed up with is uh, four against Mars. Jeez. So. And if I just looked at my thing here, we would have got that. Sorry, I, I, I choked on that a little bit. But anyways, Alone Against Fear, um, you're going to be trying to uh, capture a slasher or defeat a slasher uh, for a, a thing, or you're going to be able to uh, close gates. There's all kinds of different things. But hold on here. Hold on here. Don't go too far because this, I just got my hands on this. And this by Anna and Andre, uh, Andrea, all right, adds even more to it. So forget everything here, because the story there's 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 some great background here. Okay, Village of the Living Doll, and the neat thing about it is when you start reading about this, and it's about the little things that you take you don't you don't pay attention to. Okay, dolls, candles, uh, you know, all kinds of different stuff that come in okay that 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 do all kinds of different things so it starts it starts with this fantastic introduction and what it does is basically say after you you've you've done this okay which is alone against fear now it here's the story that progresses so three days you know i'm going to read the story to you so so you have a good feel for it okay three days ago well after midnight Okay, your Uncle Phil returns home driving through Harrowwood Forest. He's never arrived home. He never arrived home. No one has seen him, and there are no messages or mobile cell tracking to establish his location. Within, with the current situation, it will be weeks before mobile networks are back to full efficiency, and nobody has been able to recharge their de uh, devices due to last uh, do uh, devices in the last week due to the sh sh shortage of power. Boy, I can't get this out. 
Police found Phil's car empty with a broken windshield. Apparently, he braked and swerved to avoid hitting, hitting someone, hitting a tree on the side of the road. Police found a small pink wool hat on the car's hood, like the hat a small child would wear, but no blood or signs that he hit anyone with his car. The windshield was broken by the branch of the tree the car crashed into. Police started to search through the woods, but to no avail. However, since the supernatural events that tormented your hometown, they are swamped with emergencies, so they could use all the help that you could give. So you decide to help find your uncle. Boom. Right into it. Okay, right into it. And then you're going to start here. So you start off by searching the car. So you're going to roll 2d6 and you're going to find something and it's going to it's going to change things for you know, in what you find and then you just and then you start the events and how you're going to go through. And the village of the living dolls becomes this just wonderful full experience. It's just absolutely fantastic. So I, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, this is something you're definitely going to want to experience as well as this. Go check this out. Go check out Alone alone Against Fears. Whew. Here we go. So we covered three new expansions for this just phenomenal experience. There's always something great going on and they're always creating something for this. This is, this is just an ongoing and fantastic experience and i highly highly suggest it so i'll take some questions here if you have any okay uh, i don't want to give away too much with the living dolls okay just as much as i didn't want to give away too much of the other stuff but i wanted to show you that there's some new things out there we will be doing a live playthrough as soon as i download which probably be early next week uh, twisted minions to go with this or I'll try to figure out how I'll I'll do that uh, do you do bundles go to his website uh, I believe it's Janisha, Janisha games you can go to his website and you can absolutely uh, download these these just tremendous go to Lulu oh hold on and add spotlight and song blade to the sites addresses and you will find the printed books there you go ryan how are you good to see you um just a lot of tremendous things here okay a lot of things to absorb a lot of things that that i really think that that you guys can uh, really would really really enjoy and four against darkness and uh, not to mention there are a couple other out there that i didn't even include in this which uh, I'm looking forward to see if he's going to do anything with four against uh, four against Mars. Yeah, I think it's four against Mars. Also, if you're a Cthulhu fan, uh, I believe it's a, a, a um, alone against uh, alone against the old ones, uh, which was done by Marco. Uh, if you guys you guys know Marco, I guess he calls himself. It used to be Marco the War Gamer. Uh, very very. Um, knowledgeable with um, with uh, Cthulhu and he wrote this phenomenal game I keep on saying phenomenal but definitely go check out uh, Janisha, Janisha Games that's G-E-N-E-S-H-A if I'm butchering it which I probably am you definitely want to go there you're going to find all kinds of different things that work for against the great old one thank you Andrea Boy, I'm just uh, tripping over everything. And uh, they have a sci-fi version, which I'm, I'm looking forward, I w which I want to ask you while, while we got you here. Okay, uh, Marco Gamer. Uh, Mar Marco Omni Gamer. It used to be M Marco the War Gamer, but he's now Marco uh, Omni Gamer. He helped co-wrote co it. Uh, just fantastic. I've played it. It's just great. It's Jan uh, JaniciaGames.net. You can see it in the, the things. Also, uh, are, are you going to do something more with the Mars version? Are you going? Are there going to be some expansions for Mars? Might as well just uh, answer that question for you guys while you're right here, right? Why not, right? Okay, cool. Was just wondering 
if you out together bundles well I guess we'll find out I'll answer in a second so um, the the Mars one is just so much fun because there's all these kind of mutate it, 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 it's just you're dealing with Martians you're dealing with this that the other Rob look for gladiator game from look for the gladiator game from Andrea okay I'll, I'll, I'll check that out he is a professor of Italian studies at Indiana uh, in the, uh, Indiana University yes uh, very familiar with Marco uh, really love his channel and all the work that he does uh, really somebody that when I was putting uh, putting my channel together uh, really looked to uh, he's been doing this a very very long time so um, so I'm gonna give this a few seconds because of the delay and we're gonna see if uh, if there's gonna be an expansion uh, if, if there's gonna be more material hey it's Nate how are you good to see you my friend um, and I'm wondering if uh, if there's gonna be more material for the Mars version of this the sci-fi version is just so good no matter you you know in this day and age and this is just cutting cutting a promo old school okay in this day and age where getting together with friends isn't the safest thing to do okay and especially heading into a winter that things are going to be a little bit tougher for us uh, here than then then you know until things get going blood sweet and cheers is a card card based gladiator game by Nick Wright who also wrote some standalone versions for 4 AD. Ooh, we're gonna have to check that out, bro. I gotta escape the dark sector after watching your video on it. Uh, yeah, uh, Gimp, that's a great game. Today we are talking about this, which is 4 Against Darkness, Darkness, which is a tremendous solo experience that I think you will absolutely enjoy, okay? Uh, if you you like fantasy, um, it, you know you don't have to go out and buy a hundred dollar box game. You have more in this book than you would get with a hundred dollar uh, 3D game because there's more of an experience here. Okay, and there's a ton of ex uh, uh, standalones and uh, well written um, expansions for it, and you can find it all either at uh, janishagames.net or you can go to drive through rpg and they also have if you are into um survival horror well guess what it's alone against fear this is where you go alone instead of making a party of four got four ad like it play it when uh stuck at the hospital when my wife gives birth <laughs> uh nick wrote four against titans which is awesome and four against Ra uh, ragnarok which is another one uh uses the 4a uh 4ad uh engine in greek myth and norse myth mythology uh just uh, those two are just fantastic really really great great games so I'm waiting to see if uh, Andre heard my question, whether or not he's um, sweating cheers. That sounds awesome, too. I love Gladiator games, too. So now i got to check that one out, too. Great. Great. I spend more money. I mean, I have just in supplements about, about a, a pile about this. I, I, matter of fact, I'm going to go over and I'm going to pull some out. Let's see if I can grab some. Just to give you guys a, a good feel of what's going on here. Let's see if I can. I'm gonna go grab some. Hold on.
And the nice thing is, is that you can go. Yeah, you know, I'm so professional that I just get up and leave the thing. Can you repeat your question? Yes. Uh, are you going to do um, uh, any um, expansions or or uh, another book for the Mars series? Um, for uh, against the uh, four against Mars or Mars. Okay, here's some of these that you have. Fortress of the Warlord, and each of them, you know, it'll tell you. Okay, this is for pl four plus um, characters. Okay, the nice thing about it is, if you saw, I just I just debuted. Uh, I can't post the link, but if you go to Lu oh, hold on, hold on. Gimpy, it's Lulu, both hardcover and softcover. I can't post the links. Uh, looks like you can. Do, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. So, you know, I just showed you a brand new one that came out for level three to four. So once you get to four and above, well, guess what? Now you have this that'll go. Yes, I have a supplement coming early 2021. And I'm telling you, go check out the, the Mars one as well, which is just fantastic. Each one of these uses kind of the same mechanic, but it adds different things. And it just, it just is, the four against Mars is just, and, and I love four against darkness. I can't tell you which one I love more, but they're all fantastic. It will be a generic supplement with playable alien traders androids and more aliens to kill uh, i'm just into it wayfarer adventures okay uh new character options that you can have so you can download that tournament of the undead viscount this is just this is just great this is this tournament is just filthy nasty dark water which was one of the first ones that i i did and you could see that um this does uh, this is recommended for levels one and two so maybe you just don't like go plotting through this and you want something with a little bit more story hey no problem they got you covered they got you covered okay and then four against the netherworld which uh, I believe this is for characters six to nine filthy nasty filthy nasty you heard it here first. Four against, four against Mars ex expansion, early 2021. There you go. You have it here, and that's and, and I only grabbed about this much. Uh, I mean, I, I I've I've spent more money than you can imagine, but they're not that expensive. If you combined everything that that I bought for it, it probably under a hundred bucks. Would you pay a hundred dollars for, for something that that I mean, I mean, you go out and pay it anyways. Filthy and nasty. Sounds like Mo would like it. Yes, exactly. Um, would you go out and pay that type of money for a box game that you probably play through once, and that's it? This is never ending. All right. This is this this is telling a story continually, and 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 just all kinds of different adventures. You could try different types of characters. It just has a lot of replayability. I, I, and like I said, I'm not trying to sell you on everything. Just start here. Start here and then put in the comments, okay, what you think, okay? Because I've never steered you guys wrong. I've always pointed you towards things that you will get so much replayability out of this and so much enjoyment out of this, okay? You can have your friends play with you, okay? You don't have to play it solo, but it plays great solo. It really, really does. And you each can take a character, or take if you have somebody with you, you can take two characters apiece, and boom, you are off and running. Now, the Alone Against Fear, you're playing on your own, and you're loving every minute of it, of it because it's just glorious. Okay. We keep most of our PDFs from $2.99 to $10 for the really long books, that take months to produce. Most products are eight bucks. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. And and if you're willing to go out and spend sixty dollars for garbage sometimes, because we do run into that. Um, I'm telling you, go out, get this. You are not going to be disappointed. It's going to be the best 
couple of bucks and then you're going to be addicted like I, I was and you're going to buy every single thing that Andrea has, has produced. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I swear to you. Now, do me a favor. Smash that like button like you mean it. Okay? All right? Okay, uh, Gimp is saying, and it can pass for work, homework if need be. Yeah. Bring it to school. Do it. <laughs> to fool the wife or the boss. Oh, for crying out loud. Smash that like button like, like you mean it, folks. Uh, and do me a big favor. Uh, if you've not subscribed here, please subscribe and be part of the movement here. We do all this kind of stuff. We do a lot of print and play. Mostly we do a lot of this. Four Against Darkness. Uh, we'll, we'll do uh, some, I promise you, a live play of the new stuff on Monday or Tuesday or maybe Friday of this week. Uh, this week we do have some things that we have to fill in and get done. Um, a painting I'm going to be a little bit on hold uh, because of a uh, I tore my muscle off the bone here and I've got to get that repair a, li a little bit but I'm still able to do a lot of things can't keep me down you should see the should see the other guy I hope they get him out of traction soon uh, Rob you got me into this game and I can't thank you enough I have so much content for it now thank you we write exactly what I was just saying and it is by far my favorite solo game I've made custom maps cards tokens for myself well, there you go glorious glorious uh, for those who make custom adventures or materials if you can join the Facebook group all right there is a community with plenty of free stuff I mean go join this community okay on Facebook now unfortunately I don't have a Facebook or else I would be there singing high praises all day long but go join this go be part of the movement of this phenomenal game you're not gonna be wrong um, <laughs> thank you Helen and it's good to see you I haven't seen you in a while miss um, uh, definitely 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 um, there's Facebook groups get together work together on all this stuff you guys are really 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 gonna enjoy this all right listen I'm not saying high praises because Andrea decided to show up at this okay this was unplanned for him to pop in here uh, how do you think it compares to D100 boy you know that's a tough one I um you know, I, I love what, what Martin Knight did. I think he did a fantastic job. I really enjoy that system. Um, for me, you know, tug, very much a tug, tug of war, but I'm going to tell you right now, um, I seem to play this more, and that's just being straight up honest. Okay, I really play this more. Um, I have a love for this that is just very deep. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing system and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to give you all the reasons why you need to. Okay. Um, the beauty thing about this is it's a, a, a system that if you really, really want to, um, play Dungeons and Dragons, you really can't play it by yourself that often. Okay. Um, and it's it's hard to play by yourself so wanting to play D and and not being able to have people around this fills a void that is absolutely it, it hits all the high points and everything that you want and the modules are just glorious rob thanks thank you for this great channel do you lift bro oh god yeah every single day you look like you do yeah 60 years old and I'm holding up all right uh, how do you think playing it co-op compares to playing it solo I think it does it, it, it it's the same experience it does not take away from it I think it makes it a little bit more exciting uh, because you, you're able to talk to each other okay and 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 kind of oh what are we gonna do kind of thing you know 
Uh, but you also have that, that phenomenal solo experience that just gives you so much. It just gives you so much. It, it, uh, it scratches every itch that you can ever ask that D&D to do. Or um, Call of Cthulhu. Or trying to play Arkham Horror. Or any, uh, you know, uh, any kind of sci-fi game. Um, you know, it, it, it does so much. And it's never the same. It's never the same. Every time you play it, it's different. And it does different things, and and you become addicted to it. And and I can tell you that much. I am very addicted to this game. This is this is a great game. So uh, looking forward to T T T T. Oh, cool! Like you said it, Rex. The uh, four A D rocks. It sure does. So we covered everything. We covered all the three new supplements that came out modules, if you want to call them two for. Um, four against darkness and one for alone against fear which is glorious glorious you can never go wrong with any of these things again I'm gonna say it again all right we made it to an hour and I, I I'm sorry oh wait a minute Eric Bouchard is who is the Canadian author of many supplements for 4 AD uh, runs a GM 4 AD game I think on discord there you go there's so many different groups go to the Facebook group and be, become part of this movement okay a movement that you don't have to spend a hundred to hundred and seventy five dollars uh, look at the new descent that uh, descent uh, it's not the third edition that's coming hundred and seventy five dollars for a uh, it looks like that they gave you a uh, an altar okay you're gonna be playing on an app on an altar over and over again for $175 go take eight bucks it, listen empty out the piggy bank take all your change because there's a change short shortage go buy one of these expense go go buy one of these buy one of these and then come back here and tell me what you think I swear to God I swear on my grandchildren, you will you will say, Rob, I can't thank you enough. There you go. I've said it all. There's not too much more I can say. We killed an hour. How do we do that? We're that good at it. We kill an hour. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe uh, to Rob's Tabletop World here. We are continually going to be doing things. We're going to do uh, some of these adventures. We're definitely going to do it. I suggest everybody who is interested in picking up the PDF because in 2021, a new edition will be uh, available. Interested in picking up the PDF because in two Oh, we're going to have a new edition. Now we find out there's going to be a new edition. Listen. So now take half of that piggy bank. Okay. Go buy this one for eight bucks. And then when the new one comes out, take the other half of the piggy bank and get that. And you'll be good. I promise you. All right. Listen, we covered it all. Kapok! You're late to the show, but that's okay. We got more stuff coming the rest of the week, Kabook. And boy, are you going to like it. Because I got some fun for you. Coming up. There you go. That's what I do. All right. I love you all. I really do. Thank you so much for watching this. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button like, you, like, like your life depends on it. It really helps us. Okay. Uh, yes, because the book is almost five years old. See? And some things here and there need to be touched up. Just a little bit. <laughs> sorry. You don't have to be sorry for anything, my dear. You're the best. Do you have to play them in any order? No. Just whatever level your character is, okay, find a supplement that'll fit your character. So if you want to go out and buy a whole bunch, so I'm going to go over a little bit, okay? I'm going to go over a little bit, all right? Um, so if you're going to want to play Four Against Darkness and you want to get some supplements with it, do yourself a favor. Get a supplement from one to two, from two to four, 
from four to six and then six plus all right it's not gonna cost under 20 bucks I guarantee you you can find it you can fill that in for under 20 bucks and then you will have enough to keep you busy for a while and I'm telling you you will become addicted like I have and boom so we found out there's gonna be a new addition we're gonna have barbarians and halflings okay we also found out that uh, Mars is gonna have a supplement early in the year okay we're going to find out there's going to be a second edition of Four Against Darkness. Okay. We're finding out. For, you heard it here first. Rob's Tabletop World. Or maybe everybody else did. But I just heard it here first. So that makes it news. All right. So if you're watching this, boom. There you go. All right. Listen. I'm really going to cut this off now. Thank you so much for watching. Andrea, thank you so much for popping in, answering a ton of questions, helping everybody. And I hope everybody runs out and goes buys this. And anybody that sees this in the future, definitely go pick this up. You will not be disappointed. It's a fantastic experience, especially in this day and age. I think you will really like it. I love you all. And until next time, it is your old pal Rob saying, we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.